Hi there booktube, it's Eleanor here and today I want to talk to you about some books that I've read recently. Um, I've read quite a few books recently, lots of varied books because I'm reading for the SFF Awards of which I am a judge and there's so many good books on there this year, I'm really enjoying reading them. I've also been interspersing some contemporary books um, in between those and it's just been a bit of a wild ride. So the first book I want to talk to you about is Love Song by Sophia Bennett. This was a quick and comfortable read about a young girl called Nina who is at school and debating what she wants to do with her future. She's a normal girl and she gets roped into being the PA for a um, bit of a diva who is the girlfriend of a famous pop group. When she's offered the job she's not sure if she wants to take it um, but she decides it's a once in a lifetime opportunity and uh, then realises that it's not going to be that easy. This uh, woman is not very easy to work for and she's not sure how she's going to stick it out. What I liked about this was I liked the reliability of the main character, I liked how she uh, worked hard for what she wanted and she was willing to put in the effort um, even when sometimes things were made hard for her. What I found a little bit difficult to, um, to take was how she got the job and for her age how that all came about just felt a little bit implausible to me and I struggled to sort of suspend disbelief a little bit for that one. For an escapist easy read with some interesting examinations on being famous, uh, I really recommend this book and I ended up giving it four stars. My buddy read SOS for the month of February was Far From The Maddening Crowd by Thomas Hardy. I read this with some lovely ladies. Uh, one of the things that stands out in this book is it's really a story of Bathsheba and her relationship with three men. And before all your brains go to it being saucy, because I know that's where they've all gone, that's not the case. This is a Hardy book. What I enjoyed about this and Hardy's writing in general is his way of um, really helping you to picture the landscape. His evocative writing in terms of landscape and um, place are really, really good. I also really liked the smaller characters in here. I thought they were really well thought out and they really had personality. What I struggled unfortunately with this one is to like the main character Bathsheba. I really didn't like her character. I felt she was quite self-centered and a bit stupid and a bit naive and I didn't really like how hard Hardy uh, depicted her in this at all. I feel like Hardy was trying to portray her as some sort of evil temptress and yet when I watched the TV version or the, the, the film sorry I should say afterwards I really felt like they'd taken a different avenue from the book and made Bathsheba a lot more likeable and the story much more romantic whereas in this it just didn't come across like that at all. Ultimately, I'm pleased I finally read this one and I give it a three stars. A book of the SFF Awards shortlist, Trail of Lightning by Rebecca Rowanhorse was my next pick. This is set on a reservation and follows Maggie who is our main character and a monster hunter. She has special abilities which helps us to hunt and kill these monsters and she is often the last resort that people call on when nobody else can help them. In this world gods exist and she teams up with a medicine man in order to look into some unusual occurrences that have been happening. The clues lead them into a far bigger mystery and there is lots of violence and fighting and shenanigans and uh, giant cats who were quite evil, which I enjoyed. I enjoyed this, it was very different, it was very unique, it was um, different from anything I'd read before. I enjoyed how the author built up the world, how she built up the relationship between Maggie and the medicine man and the other people in her life. And we started to find out a little bit more about her because at the beginning, um, it's clear that she's a loner, she's on her own, she's been abandoned by the person who's trained her. And um, it's nice to uh, find out a bit more about those people that she knows and comes to rely on throughout the book. There was points however where it dragged a little and where the plot devices were a little bit too convenient so it didn't make it to a five star for me but it was a strong four star and I would definitely considering reading the next book in the series when it comes out. Another contender for the SFF Awards is Arrow Shah and The End of Time by Roshana Chokshi. Arrow is a young girl, she's at school and at school she tells tall tales about her life. She lives in a museum with her mum and she feels a little bit less than than her peers and so she makes up these tales in order to make herself uh, feel better and to pretend that she has and does as much as those um, friends at school. 
One day a group of them turn up at the museum to catch her out in a lie and in order to save face she lights a candle that her mother has told her never to light because of the dire consequences that's in the museum and lo and behold she sets in motion dire consequences and she must then uh, find out that she is descended um, from gods, that she has another sort of person that she must work with, another girl she must work with in order to go on this quest to save the world and I liked this but it was very reminiscent of Rick Rawdon's sort of witty banter and fast paced um, action plot and although it was really refreshing to have a female made character in this story I did find that Rick Rawdon's writing isn't quite for me anyway. Percy Jackson was okay I enjoyed the first book but then I found the um, preceding books quite repetitive and the witty sort of banter grated on me I felt like it was sort of a bit of a read boom 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 witty punchline all the time sort of smacking you in the face and I did feel a little bit of that coming from this so I ended up liking this one but not loving it and so I gave it three stars and the final book I've re read recently is Beautiful Broken Things by Sarah Bernard Sarah Bernard Sarah Bernard let me know in the comments down below. This is the story of Caddy and Rose. They are tight best friends. They're best friends in the whole wide world. Caddy goes to a private school and Rose goes to a comprehensive, but that doesn't stop them from being inseparable. And then roll in Suzanne. She is a new girl at Rose's school. She comes uh, from out of town. They live in Brighton. She's come from Reading and she's come with quite a lot of baggage. She has come escaping a violent past with an abusive family member. And so she comes with a lot of, um, baggage and sort of mental trauma. So not only in this book are we looking at the changing dynamics of adding another friend to a group of two and making it three, we're also looking at how um, you know a victim of abuse, of physical abuse, doesn't just have physical scars, there are often mental scars there that are un lay unseen um, but are there for sure. I liked this book for giving us a well-rounded view into what um, it could be like as someone as who has suffered from um, physical abuse, how that might have left um, a lasting severe damage to them in terms of their mental health and we look at how um, Caddy especially and Rose deal with Suzanne's past both very differently which is very interesting to see. So this studies the sort of ripple effects um, that Suzanne has on the lives of these two girls. I really enjoyed this, I thought it was really well thought out, it was um, very well done, there was no sugar coating or um, glossing over things. Our main character Caddy has a bipolar sister which is really interesting, she has very present parents in her life and um, it's interesting to also see how um, Suzanne who is now living with her aunt and her aunt struggles and 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 how that is for that family member as well as Suzanne's brother who didn't suffer from this abuse and therefore there is an interesting dynamic there as well there was so much to look into in this so much to enjoy and so much to think and talk about I think this would be a really good um buddy read or uh book to talk about with the book club anyway I really enjoyed this one and it wasn't quite five stars but it was a really strong four star read so that's all the books that I've read recently, some really good books. I'm really interested to hear your thoughts on these. Make sure you pop them in the comments down below and I look forward to speaking to you about more books as I read them and yeah, so many books, so little time. Anyway, that's it from me and I look forward to speaking to you soon. Bye for now booktube.